All right, turning to Arkansas, where state police have announced that a fourth victim of a grocery store shooting has now died. The 81-year-old woman passed away Saturday night following a shooting at the Mad Butcher grocery store in a town 70 miles south of Little Rock. The suspect is in custody. However, 13 people were struck in that shooting spree. That includes two law enforcement officers, according to state police. None of the four deceased victims are officers. Joining us now for more on this is NBC News correspondent Priya Sreether. Priya, good morning to you. So what are the latest details that we're hearing from law enforcement and what do we know about these other victims? Good morning, Stephen. Yeah, as you mentioned, 81-year-old Ellen Shroom is the latest victim to die as of Saturday night in the Dallas County Medical Center as she was fighting for her life. But three other victims passed away on Friday when the shooting happened. 23-year-old Callie Weems, who was a nurse, and her mother told us, I was in Arkansas over the weekend got, and got an opportunity to speak with her mother, Helen Browning, that she was off from her uh, job as a nurse that day when she went grocery shopping. She leaves behind a 10-month-old baby daughter. Uh, in addition to that, 50-year-old Roy Sturgis also passed away on Friday. He is described as a devoted dad to his uh, daughter, Hannah. And then also 62-year-old Shirley Taylor. I got an opportunity to speak with her daughter, Angela Ashley, and she said that her mom was a homebody. She liked to crochet, garden, and cook. Let's take a listen to what their family members had to say about their loved ones. She was the most hardworking woman I've ever known in my life. She, uh, she always put her family, family first. Most beautiful smile, a laughter that just filled the room full of joy. Sweetest girl. To know her was to love her. Absolutely heartbreaking. And, you know, this is such a small town, only 4,000 people. Most of the people I spoke to know someone who was inside of that grocery store. So this is a tragedy that's hitting basically everyone who lived there. Stephen. So awful. Heartbroken for that whole community. Uh, Priya, also oddly, this is the third mass shooting at a U.S. grocery store in just three years. So I know you also mentioned the injuries for other victims there. What do we know about them, including those police officers who were also injured? That's right. So 14 people total were shot, including the suspect who has since been released from the Dallas County Medical Center and is currently in custody in the local jail. He's expected to make his first court appearance today. There were also two law enforcement officers who were shot. It was non-life-threatening injuries. They are, have also been released from the Dallas County Medical Center. And then 11 civilians, four of them died, as I mentioned. Of the remaining seven, as of yesterday afternoon, four of them were still in the hospital. Uh, five women were shot and two men. They range in ages from 20 to 65 years old. The Arkansas State Police did tell us that one woman is still in critical condition and fighting for her life. So as you can imagine, Stephen, everyone in the community of Fordyce and across Arkansas is just praying that they make a recovery. Oh, certainly praying that as well. And uh, we don't have a lot of time here left, but I wanted to ask about this suspect, the 44-year-old Travis Eugene Posey. Have police said anything about a motive yet? Yeah, so law enforcement officers who were briefed on this shooting say that there are no indications that his motive had anything to do with any sort of extremism or hate crimes. We don't know that he has had any sort of criminal record. So the motive is something that's still under investigation by the Arkansas State Police at this time, Stephen. All right, Priya, thank you so much for that update. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.